the place of spiritual enlightenment, education, and entertainment. This is the EJN Network. On this episode of A Man's View, black oh. women, for the most part, for the most part, wow. I can we're hear over it. the top wow. attitude, <laughs> over the top pressure, over the top insecurities. Over the, it's just too much. Mm. Uh-huh. I got rejected by black women. Mm. I'm being for real. Oh man, got you. Got because you. the way I speak, because the way I thought, and because the way I carry myself. Well, so that. For me, has been my issue because how I grew up, that's my environment. There are many, many black women mm. out there that are down to earth, right. that are very educated, right. they're very mm. mannerable, they're not loud, they're not rude, they're not obnoxious. These subjects and so much more, it all starts right now. Everybody. Hey, welcome back to A Man's View. Don't go anywhere. Today's subject is for real mm-hmm. and raw. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're talking about something that deals with every single person out there. And we've all dealt with it. Uh-huh, we've uh-huh. all seen it. I got to bring in a few. I got to bring my host in first because I'm just so <laughs> excited about this subject. Uh-huh. <laughs> to my right, I have, you know him, I know him, Mr. Andre Gillis. Hey, guys, how we doing? I'm glad to be here, glad to be back. And ready to give you guys our opinion, oh, our yeah. raw opinion on this fa- <laughs> raw, on this matter. Raw and upfront. As a man's view. And to his right, Mr. Brandon Tate. Brand Brandon Man, what's up, y'all? I can't wait to dive into this, man. I oh, yeah. can't wait to get into this. Man. Can't wait. There's something going on. I have to bring it out because this has been going on for so much time now. And people, yeah. you know, they're kind of funny about it. That's right. They're yeah. kind of funny about it. But hey, we live in the mixed world. These are a few gentlemen, Robert De Niro, mm-hmm. Chris Bosch, uh-huh. Michael Jordan, yeah. Black Tay Diggs, <laughs> <laughs> Terry Crews. I caught the shade like, on that one. <laughs> what do all these gentlemen have in common? Hmm. Hmm. I, wonder. I don't know. They're all married to women outside of their race. That's right. Yep. That's right. You got Tay Diggs, as black as he is, black married to a white woman. <laughs> Robert De Niro, married to a white woman. Uh-huh. Yeah. What is, ain't this something? Now, some people got a problem with that. Uh-huh. I personally don't have a problem with it. Right, I don't because see myself, the issue either. Hey, I'm married to a mixed woman myself. No problem with it at all. But some men, they have this thing where it's like, listen, you got a bad attitude. Yeah. Do they say that? Yeah. Yeah, nasty attitude. They say you got attitude. black women, got bad <laughs> attitudes. And then they have this thing now, too, where you got those, oh, you a sellout. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you you a turnout. Something wrong with you. You just you know you just want to win from your race. I don't believe that. Yeah. Me myself, I have no problem whatsoever. We right. live in a world, it's mixed. Right, right, it's right. It's a right. mixed race of people. Right. So what's the problem? You tell me. Well, me personally, I don't necessarily feel as if it is a problem. Okay. You know, I well, think the you. problem is thank you. Appreciate it. somebody's <laughs> think, on my side. I think the problem is is <laughs> you have a lot of people that still they mind is still back in the sixties and the fifties. Mm, okay. Where Blacks stay True. with blacks, whites stay with whites, and that's it. We are in a new day and age. We're in 2015. Right. I mean, hello. Mm-hmm. It's time for us to move on, get more modern. It is what it is. Yes. It's okay for blacks to date whites, or it's okay for blacks to date Spanish or mm-hmm. Chinese or whatever you no want to date. No problem with it. If you want to date black, you date black. You go with who you're attracted to and what you, know, what you like and what you love. That's what I feel. You know, that's, I mean, that's how I see it. Yeah. Personally, I don't see nothing wrong with dating a white girl or a Spanish girl. Nope. As long as you date them for the right reasons. To be honest with you, okay. I love our sisters. Yeah. Okay. I have two black sisters. I have a black mother, okay. and I have aunties and things of that nature. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, I've ran into many different black women mm-hmm. that has this unnecessary attitude. Mm. I know we black, and I know we powerful as <laughs> people, but that don't mean we have to be over the top. Black oh. women, for the most part, for the most <laughs> wow. part, we're over the top wow. attitude, over the top pressure, over the top insecurities. Over the, it's just too much. Mm. Whatever it is that you have going on in your mind or whatever it is you have going on in your life, okay, let's deal with it together so we can calm it down. Something. If, it, if we're going to go there. Yeah. Dude. But if we're not going to come together and make this happen, dude. then, hey, you go ahead and do your thing, I'm going to do my dude. thing, and I'm going to deal somebody with That's a whole lot of attitude. You need to cheer right now. I'm just being uh, real. You might have to take the, uh, take the back door when you leave the studio <laughs> today, bro. <'cause> you, <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know, man. Look, here's how I feel, bro. Now, here's, now, obviously, 
Somebody stepped outside the camp. I'm about to say, let's be honest. Like, <laughs> Somebody stepped down. outside the camp with me uh -huh. somewhere. I don't know where. I don't know when. But my opinion, mm -hmm. there is nothing more beautiful to me. Oh, mm -hmm. boy. Mm -hmm. There we go. Than a beautiful black <sighs> woman. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. Uh-oh. It, it, black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. Oh, him, oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Come on, oh, really? really? Look, look, really, look, look, look. This is how I feel life. about it. This is how I feel about it. See, I feel as if. You brothers have your standpoint and your mindsets because of the the stereotype uh -oh. of black oh boy, women. It, listen, it's the a, look, I understand what you're saying. I understand no what you're saying. Be, I understand what you're saying. I'm, I, I I will vouch with you right now. If you take ten black women, nine of them got attitudes. That's right. I, I, I guarantee you that. Okay, I'm not knocking that. And there is the point that brothers be like, you know what? I'm tired of this. I ain't got to deal with this. You know, hey, listen. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> listen, I, I get that, but. I, what what I want to like show is that you know, I think that those women that mm -hmm. has put a bad label on on the black women as a whole, uh -huh. okay. because there are many many black women mm -hmm. out there that are down to earth, right. that are very educated, they're right. very yeah. mannerable, they're not loud, they're not rude, they're not obnoxious, they, you know, or uh, they're not dominating mm -hmm. uh, in a relationship. So you know, I, I mean. Sisters, I'm here to back y'all up, but I'm gonna need y'all to back me up too. Okay? Well, see, my, my thing is this. My mm. thing is this. I'm not saying that yeah. all black women have attitudes. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that there's a large quantity of black women with attitudes. <laughs> I understand you know that. Yeah. If, if, if that is the case, and you do have an attitude, you need to adjust your attitude. Mm. Work on your attitude. Whatever the problem is, Preach. let's find out what the problem is. Preach. Let's work on it so we won't have to, so you women won't have to give us all of that. Give mm -hmm. me what I deserve. If I'm doing right, I'm acting right. There's no point of snapping on me because I'm 30 That's minutes right. late from home. I mean, 30 minutes late from work, and you snapping and giving me all this attitude unnecessarily. For no reason. It don't make sense to <laughs> curse me out and fuss me out and give me attitude just because you had a bad day. Baby, when you walked in the house, I said, hey, baby, how you doing? Mm. Give you a kiss, a hug, and I'm, and I'm rubbing your feet, and I'm still getting attitude. Well, why you, nice. ain't call nice. say, nice. well, why you ain't call and say, hey, baby, look, I'm on the way home. I'm I stuck did in that. I did that. She had her boss pissed off, so she mad at me. I can't deal she with that. She brought it home. But you then you go home man? and be the man and get her back alive. Well, I understand bro. that. I totally understand that. But the problem is, 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 is when you get all this unnecessary attitude. It's they can't get tired. Unnecessary, unnecessary okay. attitude. Can't I can't, can't deal with it. They can't so, get tired. So with me not dealing with it, and I've tried to deal with it for so long, it's like, hey, what else is out there for me? Because mm -hmm. you know what? If you, It's like this. If you go to the club to meet a girl, mm. you go to the club to meet a girl at right. the club, you're talking about marrying her, what type of girl you think you're going to get? What you think? If you go to a, <laughs> you know, mean, a, 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 a street corner to meet a girl, <laughs> yeah. what kind of girl you think you're going to get? You're going to get a thought pocket. If you're going to meet a girl a at a... a, a what? A thought pocket. A thought pocket, exactly. <laughs> With too much negative thoughts and attitude and all that crazy stuff she let you... Yeah, man. You understand I, I, what I'm saying? Yeah. It's how you meet them. And that's, that's so true. I don't know why that is. And I can contribute a part of it. To them growing up, their environment that they grew up right. in. Right. Okay. They have a lot to okay. do with it. They grew up in the hood. That's pretty much all they know. Uh -huh. they, some people have not had any type of understanding or teaching mm -hmm. to be That's respectable. Right. That's right. To be nice, to be loving, yeah. to be supportive. Now, I'm not totally against it, right. but like you said, it's a lot of women out there like that. And that's why these men oftentimes go over and try to find something better. Yeah. And yeah. I, I can say this for myself. I have caught so much slack about this. I mean, I have gone out to restaurants. I ain't going to say anything in a restaurant, but they have a little store before you get into the dining room. Uh -oh. And you buy a few items. Uh -oh. Okay. I got a few country things there. Gotcha, you know gotcha. the place. I, 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 gotcha. I think I kind of My get wife you. and I walks in. <laughs> we go to sit down. The server brings us to our table. Mm -hmm. We have a group of individuals next to us uh -huh. give us the dirtiest look ever. I'm like, we just come in here to get a little breakfast. Like, like you're not supposed to be there. You know something. what I'm saying? Like, this restaurant is above And I'm you. like, okay, you know, uh -huh. I forgot where I was because it was that part of Florida. We live here in Florida and Miami. It's a mixed race, but we went up north a little bit, so yep. it was a little different. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we okay. caught all this slack all because I'm thinking, like, what is like, wait a minute, my wife told me. We mix. It's a mm -hmm. mixed race, and people right. have a serious problem with that. Yeah. How I grew up, that's why I grew up in a middle-class neighborhood. Uh -huh. I grew up around a lot of Spanish people a lot of white people, right. and matter of fact, myself, uh -huh. I got rejected by black women. Mm. I'm being for real. Oh, man. Got you. Got because you. the way I speak, because the way I thought, and because the way I carried myself. So that 
for me, has been my issue because how I grew up, that's my environment. My thing is, is it's one of those things. Mm -hmm. When a black man is looking at dating someone, whether it's black, white, or Spanish, or Puerto Rican, or whatever it is that you are, mm -hmm. you know, as a man, I look at, I don't necessarily look at the color of a person's skin. Okay. I look at what's going on with them, what's on their mind, how they look, how they feel, uh, how they act, okay. mentally where they are, okay. what's their goals, okay. what's, you know, I look at all of that. Mm. So when you sit back and think about it, you know, sometimes you can go ask a black woman, hey, what's your goals in the next five years? Next five years, I don't know. <laughs> you go ask a white woman, what's your goal in the next five years? Hey. And she might tell you something. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that all white women are like that or all black women are like that, mm -hmm. but you need to have some morals. You need to have some okay. uh, uh, insight on what's going on in your near yeah, future. Exactly. The next two years, the next five years, the next ten years. I agree. You know, it goes back to what you were saying, mm -hmm. how you was brought up. Yeah. And guess what? If you do meet a black woman that you are interested in, and you ask her a question like that and she can't give you an answer, it's your job as a man. Hey, mm. I love her or I care about her a lot and she's beautiful and she take care of me, she look out for me, but something's just not right. So it's your job as a man to bring her up mm -hmm. to the level that you want her to be. Yeah. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 so yeah. at the end of the day, it don't necessarily mean, okay, let me date the white woman, let me date the black woman. Mm -hmm. If you find somebody that you're interested in, bring them up where you need them to be. Okay. If they have an attitude, if the black woman is nice, but mm -hmm. she have a little attitude, Help her tone down that attitude. If it's a white woman with yeah, a little right. attitude, you help her turn yeah, down that you attitude. Be able to do it. You know, you have I to. Agree. I agree. You 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 gotta yeah. you gotta work yeah. on that. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, gotta work that. it. But you see, and, and this is what I really want to talk to the sisters about this because <laughs> oh, this, I love y'all. I love y'all. I feel it. But listen, <laughs> sisters, y'all gotta get it together in some areas. Like what he's saying. When he's saying, you know, bring bring a woman up to the level you want her to be, I'm not. He's not talking about changing you, right? Changing right, your right. personality. What he's saying is, you know, changing some attributes, some negative attributes. Right. That's what he's saying. Yeah, you know, it's just, it's, it, you know, we're not trying to, we're not trying to change, we, we're not trying to change who you are as a person. We're just trying to make you a better person by keeping you. <laughs> Who, who you, you are. are, you know, okay. You, you don't have to be loud. You don't have no, to be obnoxious. Right. All the dog on time. Why you always mad? <laughs> what? Always, always mad. mad. Okay, well, look. You know what? I, 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 What's I, I, you mad about? She probably mad because you? you know who she. Who, you know who knows? You know, most, look, let me tell you something. Most black women are mad because guess what? They grew up, the mama was always mad. Wow. They grew up, the grandmama was always mad. Yeah, the right. mama had to do what the daddy didn't do. The grand, the granddaddy wasn't never around, so the grandma had yeah. to. So it was a chain of Literally. effect now. So now, most oh, black man. women now, when you have a man that's trying to step in, oh, I don't need y'all, I'm independent. Honey, let me tell you something. Baby, I'm not trying to tell you, you know, <laughs> hey, let you take a seat and let me do all the work. No, mm -hmm. we going to do this thing 50-50. Yeah. But just chill. Y'all at a hundred. Bring it down to like a forty. You know, relax. That's right. That's right. Let me take on most of the brunt. I do sixty. You do forty. But you ain't got to do the whole hundred, baby. Mm, no just doubt. relax. You know. Gentlemen, can I as a producer? Can I propose a question sure. to all of you all? I'm going to stay on this side of the camera, but I'm listening to you. And by me having a black mother and a black aunt, and of course. Uh, black family members that are female, I'm listening to how you guys are really talking about black women. And you ask the question why they're so mad. A lot of times they're mad because of what the black man has done to them. Oh, uh, I really want you guys to talk about that because get off your soapbox. Let's look at what the black men have done to the black women that have really brought them down. Why don't y'all address that? I'm pretty sure our sisters want to hear your point of view on that. Go ahead, advocate. Here's the advocate. Go ahead. Okay, advocate. okay, okay. I'll go there, right? I'll go there, right? I'll go there, right? Yeah. Okay. You have a lot of brothers. Most of them. Like I said, like I said, like I said, you know, even going back to, like I said, you know, mama and grandma. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have a lot of, you have a lot of men mm -hmm. who were never there. Okay. You that. have a, you have a lot of men who were there, but. They molested. The, uh, they molested oh, you. Okay. Yes, yes. You have a lot of men. You have a lot of men who you know who you let into your life, and then you know what you took advantage. Uh, uh, you were taking advantage of. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? You was you was giving them money. You was paying the condo. You was helping them do this, and right. then when you built them up to uh, to to a certain level, mm -hmm. they then then they ran off with somebody else. Mm -hmm. I understand that. I understand the bitterness. You know, in it, you had a lot of men to cheat on you. Yeah. To dog you I'll out, you, you would you you didn't do anything wrong. 
Mm-hmm. You didn't do nothing wrong. You was being the best woman you can be, all you can be, and you was doing everything you could do for yeah. your man. But you know what? He hurted you. So now what you did, you done built up this wall to where as you know what? I don't need nobody or mm-hmm. nothing coming on this side of the wall. You just stand on that side and I use you for whatever it is I need to use you for and then I put you <clears throat> I push you further back. True. I don't need a man. But every man is not out to hurt you. Every black man is not like that. Every black man do not want to hurt you. There are mm-hmm. some, just like how I said in the beginning, you know, you have some black women <laughs> who do do what they have to do. They mm-hmm. are nice. They are polite. They're not rude. They're not loud. You have some black men who are not abusers, ah, mentally or physically. Of course. It's true. You know, you have a lot of, uh, a lot of different situations happen. And when you, when you find these different things that, uh, you know, that happen to the woman, and she have an attitude for those reasons, it's not necessarily a black woman or a white woman. Mm-hmm. It's just women, period. Even some men don't have jobs. You don't have a yeah, job, mm-hmm. and then you right. sit there, and then mm-hmm. you want to, um, uh, uh, I guess, use the woman, whether it's the black woman or right. white woman or whatever the case mm-hmm. may be. That's not good. No. That's part of the reason why women do have attitudes. That's part of the reason why yeah. women do, why they don't trust a man to do certain things or to act a certain way or mm-hmm. whatever the case may be. So, you know, it's our job as men. To, oh, we want a, a dime piece woman? Mm-hmm. Well, are you a dime piece man? No, no doubt. You want a woman with good credit yeah. and with money in the yeah. bank and all these good things? Well, what are you bringing to the table as a man? Mm-hmm. Man, right. we got to step our game up. No doubt. And we got to be 100% right. before we sit here and ask a woman for 100%. That's you right. You understand what I'm saying? That's like, right. I mean, come on. If you don't want to be cheated on, don't cheat on her. That's right. If you don't want her oh, yeah. using and abusing when your credit, around. don't use and abuse her credit. <laughs> that's right. You, you understand got, what I'm you saying? Got a point. You we, got a point, we, when, when, that's why, you know, when I look for a woman, I look at a woman, I want to deal with a woman or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. You know, I really have to study. I really have to pay attention to mm-hmm. what's going on with her in yeah. her life, her right. past, <coughs> what she's thinking about in the future, mm-hmm. and all these things. Yeah. You know, a lot of times when you say, like, when people are in a relationship and two years down the line or a year down the line or whatever the case may be, yeah. they're having problems and issues, it's because they didn't get in a relationship the right way. I, I agree with what you got to say. Only flip side of that that I have is that when a new man comes into your life, right, right. why do we bring that up and we hold on to that yeah. about what happened in, in the, the past? past. Yeah, when yeah, a good yeah. man, a good Christian man comes your way and he wants to change things for the better, He's treating you better. He's taking you out. He's opening the door for yes, you. Yes, He's yes. treating you. He's That's taking right. care of you. Matter of fact, he's probably helping build your credit. Right, he's right. doing things that are better. That's You're right. not used to that. Give that man a chance. Yes. That's right. Why are we so angry? Why are we so quick to jump on a person? Yeah. Because of something that we're brand new. Yeah. A new man is coming your way. Why now? Are oh, you bringing up things that happened 10 years ago? Yeah. 10 years ago, you're still holding on to that. that. That's I got a problem true. with that. That's yeah. very true. And that's, that's, why, that's why you see so many people going outside their race. Yeah. Exactly. That's why. I believe that in that's the not. aspect of that, you know, communication plays a big factor. Yeah. Okay? Now, look, if... I believe before I get into any type of relationship, let me know what I'm getting into. Yeah. Okay. Right. Give me the option to say break no. Yourself down, bro. Okay. That's right. Give me the option to say yes. <laughs> Don't hold back information because you because you know if you tell me this, I'm gonna get up and go. <laughs> if I need to get up and go, let me know I need to get up and go. I'm you know. Yeah. The, yeah. You know the thing. The thing about it is, if you're holding on to something from 10, 15 years ago, maybe I would like to bring to be the person. Who will help you get past that's this? That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. So let exactly. me know this, and and so let me know this before Someone. we get too far yeah. in the relationship. Talk to me. That's let right. me know what you're going through. If Communicate. You, that's if right. you if you have feelings for me, and you know I have feelings for you, and you can see that we're going to another mm-hmm. level. Talk to me and let me know yeah, yep, that's what right. it is that you're dealing with and what it is that you're battling, so I can decide whether or not I want to deal with it or not. <laughs> I know that's, that's right. right. That makes sense. I'm telling because you. if I don't want to deal with it, I'm gonna tell you. Hey, you know, because I'm not gonna do nothing to make the situation worse for you yeah. if I don't want to be there. And I don't like it. You know, it, 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 it really have a lot to do, and I have to go back on this, and it has something to do with what you said. Uh-huh. Uh, a woman bringing something into me, a new relationship that has nothing to do with the man. You know, it's more than the past relationships that these women have been in. Yeah. It's issues that they have had with their father. Definitely. Okay. With their mother oh, and father. Okay. Definitely. It's things that has happened in their homes when they was 10, 11 years old that they're holding with them. Mm-hmm. That's right. I saw my mother and father always fussing and arguing mm-hmm. when they thought I was in my room playing. Wow. I saw my dad slap and beat up my mom. So tough. I feel as if as I get older, it's okay for me, me. to be slapped on, That's beat right. on. 
yelled at, mm-hmm. cussed at, yeah. talk, called me out my name. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. when, when you when you as a parent are in front of your kids or with your kids, you need to watch what you say and watch what you do. Definitely. Don't mm-hmm. think the same Definitely. way, the same way you all the way in the living room and I'm they all in the playroom and they doing stuff and they think you're not listening. The same way that you need to um, be paying attention they to uh, what you say and what you do to them. You know, so, you know, you just got to pretty much just watch yourself they and be careful. Everything. But true. it have a lot to do with that, you know, the way they was brought up mm-hmm. from when they was younger. I mean, you know, when That's it comes down to it with me, when it comes down to it with me, listen. What? Say it. I love me a black woman. Oh. <laughs> I, I love me a black woman. I, I love me a black woman. But you know what? I, I have noticed, though. I've noticed, though. What's up? I've noticed that black women don't get as mad when... A, when a black man date a Spanish woman, Ooh. she don't get as mad when she, when, you know, when he date, you know, when he date a, a, a Mexican Argentine, mm-hmm. but a flat out white, blue eyed, uh. blonde hair, long back white girl. Yeah. Oh, they get. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you, brother. I love you, uh-huh. brother. I love you. Just yes. know this before I say what I'm about to say. Get I him. love you. Oh Lord. Let me tell you something, bro. Your standards for right. black women, right? Are so high they okay. don't broke through the atmosphere of Earth. That's right. Okay, <laughs> they're not in this galaxy. Okay, I've seen. Now I understand beauty is. I'm gonna in the let you finish. Of the beholder. <laughs> I understand this. Right. But man, I don't seen you holler at some long back white. Oh girl. come on, never. You, now, now you crazy. Now, now you crazy. I'm sorry, uh, man. Look, uh, I'm sorry. Hey, look. Uh, I mean, Mama was this tall. Her back was just as long as. T- <laughs> listen, listen. But when you start talking about you want a black girl, her weave gotta be on point. Her body gotta hey, be nice. Hey, you gotta hey, understand. Hold on, wait a minute. That, I'm not. I'm not natural saying, hair. I'm not natural hair. Listen, natural I ain't hair. saying nothing wrong with the natural hair right. or the weave. All I'm saying is. Why the black women gotta be on point, but your white girls can see. Like see, first of all, what you have to understand is let me let me let me talk to the viewers for a minute. Please, let don't. me get some understanding. Let me <laughs> let me explain to you guys what's really going on in my head. See, first of all, we dealing with a young man that don't even really deal with white women. Not even really don't deal with white women, Spanish or Puerto Rican or Asian Nothing. or whatever at all. No. So he don't know what beauty is in the eyes of a white woman or a Spanish woman. Period. Mm. You know. So when when I call myself to be beautiful. <laughs> He don't call to be beautiful because he's not even looking at them. Yeah, so to I'm me, looking, like I was saying, I to me, I when I look at a when I look at a, a black woman or I look at a white woman, yes, I'm looking for a, a certain type of body style, a yeah. certain type of hairdo, things uh-huh. of that nature. Uh, if I'm dating a uh, black girl, hair, I need natural. her hair to be nice. <laughs> if if she got if she if have weaving her hair, if you have weaving your hair, baby, it need to be done on point all the time. I don't care if you have weave or don't have weave. Your hair need to be good, looking good. And I know. Your, you need to smell good. You need to be clean. You need to be matching. You need to be on point. You need to be beautiful. You need to be, I mean, it is what it is. So if you're a black girl and you have these weave in your head and you can see the track coming from the front falling out the oh, back, no, no, don't no, think no, me and you no, will be in no relationship. No, no. You understand what I'm saying? If you're a white woman with hair that look all matted up and look like it ain't been washed in three days, I mean, you can get out my face too. At the end of the day, I'm not going to come around you. You see my hair? It's always done. I will not what, what? walk around you looking like crap. I don't care if I'm going to Walmart, Kmart, Target, or Target, as some of y'all might say. I'm going to be on point. I'm going to be fresh. So I expect you to be the same. Mm-hmm. So like I say, when I'm dating a black woman, yes, I want my black beautiful woman, her hair to be done, her nails to be done, mm-hmm. her, her clothes to be on point, That's and right. all of that. That's but right. it is what it is. When I date a white woman, you need to be on point too. That's right. When you start dating with a white woman no, or a no, Spanish no, okay, woman, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, wait, hold on, wait, hold on, because look, because look, I didn't see, I didn't see. more than one Kool-Aid. Favorite, I, I, I don't, I don't it's, see. It, listen, it's I, more I than don't, purple. Look, it's it more is than more than purple. purple. <laughs> it's more than purple because you got lavender out there it's too. We can lemonade, it's it's lemonade. Pink lemonade tastes it's good. Pink lemonade is good. good. Pink lemonade. Now. <laughs> <laughs> look, right think about, look, think about it. Is man, I don't see the Spanish woman. You, you have that. Okay, listen. <laughs> Your children's mother. She yes. is a gorgeous woman. She is beyond beautiful. She is a beautiful woman. Yes, she is. But that girl you was hollering at when we had went to that restaurant off of Holiday, bro. Restaurant, Holiday. I can't say no restaurant. Oh, come really? on. That but girl was on point. That girl was not. To you, she wasn't. Man, Once she, again, she, she don't even like that white women. She sister to a diving board, man. Oh, come on. You don't even look what at white women. to the booty for women? Mm. Okay, that's booty what I was saying. You, you mm. are into these women with all this big ghetto booty. And I, I can mean, sit the bottle on. Hey, hey, you I know. mean, just <laughs> sit it right Who there. Who wants that? Just sit it right there. Exactly. Who do you want? 
I don't need all that in my no, life. I don't need all that in my life, sweetie. I don't need all that in my life. I need to get an extra car for your booty. Yeah. I don't need oh, that. What's wrong with the you know what I'm saying? That's why I want a truck, because I want her behind I'm, in the back of the pickup. First of all, I ain't buying no suburban, sweetheart. So, hey, I'm single, number one. If you're looking for a man, holler at me. Oh, so, anyway, like I was saying, I ride in a coupe. All that booty, you going to be in the front seat and your booty going to be in the back seat. I don't have no room or space for that. You understand? But my coupe is big enough for me, you, and my two boys. Yeah, all, oh. I don't need no suburban. Oh, I don't need no man. ghetto booty. Not, I don't need okay, all that. Okay, but look, you don't got to have the ghetto booty, but you got to have some booty. I'm all right with just enough. That ain't just <laughs> enough. So like <laughs> back, skin, and spine. That's all that was. Listen, it is what it is. I like what oh I like. You like what you like. Oh and we have fun with whoever we with. Look, Am I right or am I wrong? We like, we, you right, you right. But right. sisters, I'm telling you, I'm for y'all. I'm for you. I'm for you. There's nothing more beautiful than a, than a black woman. I'm, That's right. I, I, black women I, I, I love, to be, I love me a black woman. I think, like I said, somebody stepped out the camp somewhere. I don't know, but it wasn't with me. But, hey. I love it. It is what it is. Oh, uh, uh, boy. We, well, we, once, once again, we're going to catch some slack on this and one. We definitely hey, gonna no, no y'all going to catch some slack on this hey, one. I'm good. We all together. We all won. <laughs> we all won. Exactly. Yes, do not do this mine. And so, listen, hey, send a video. Yes, I got an idea. You guys need to send a video to our show. Yes. Put it yes. on YouTube. Reply to the comments. A video Please reply. Do. We want to hear exactly what you got to say about yes, this. Yes. That's we right. We said our opinion. Do. Hey, this Please is part do. one. This, this is, is part one. This we is part one. You. This is part one. We're going to break this down in segments. Because, y'all, I, I, I feel a fire. It's getting yeah, hot. Yeah, yeah, it's getting <laughs> hot. It's getting hot. I think the A's going off. I think it will be great for us to hear exactly what you guys think, how you feel. Record yourself. Send it in. Let us know what's going on. You know, let us know what's on your mind. You know, follow us. Don't forget, follow us. Oh, we have YouTube. Follow us now. Oh, yeah. We got Twitter. Yeah. We you know, we now. have these different sites. Hit us up. Email us. Comment on comment below. Let us know how you feel, what you think, what's on your mind. You know, <laughs> what, what's your ideas of a black man dating a white woman or Spanish or Asian or Puerto Rican or whatever the case mm -hmm. may be? Please give us Talk your Talk to us. Let us know how give you feel. Yeah, yeah, give some Brandon some backup. Because, hey, we yeah, help him out. Yeah, because I'm on here by myself. Yeah, he, Sisters, I, but listen, like I said, don't be in the comment box. Box all snapping, and, <laughs> and, 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 and if you're in the comment you. box, like you said, hey, you weed get you can't give them nothing to talk yeah, about. Yeah, because I'm gonna talk about you, you that messed so, up weed. So, you know, so make sure so with your brandy sure. braids, they look like brandy Ooh. put them in when she was two. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's the weave that I can't deal with. That's you understand fine. what I'm saying? The braids got to be on point. I need the oh, fresh man. brandy braids. You know what is hey, poetic justice? I say natural. Okay. Okay. That. We natural. need natural hair. Don't go with that. <laughs> Guys, don't forget. Come check us out. Come holler at us. We want you. We want to see you. We love you. See you later. See you later. Let's go. Peace. Peace.